and today we're going to be going over different options for export in Final Cut Pro. By default, you may not have some share destinations available in the share menu. To add these, you will need to create a new share destination and add it to your share menu. Start by selecting Add Destination. The Destinations window will appear in the center of your screen. On the left, you will see the destinations that are currently included in your share menu. On the right, you'll see any available share destinations that you can add to your menu. If you'd like to add one, simply drag the destination option from the left into the menu on the right. Alternatively, you can double click the destination to add it to the menu. The new destinations that will be added now appear on the list. We can click on a share destination to see any available settings. For example, if we choose a web destination such as YouTube, we could link an account and select our preferred settings. And for any local destinations, we can set our preferred settings as the default so that we don't have to adjust them every time we'd like to export. There's different settings for every destination, so be sure to explore each one. If you need to revert a destination to its original settings, simply hold Control, click on it, and select Revert to Original Settings. We can also rename any destination and also change the order. So you can easily customize your share menu to your own personal preferences. Any changes we made will be saved automatically. Isn't that amazing? To create a bundle, drag the bundle destination into the menu on the left. From here, you can add a destination to the bundle by dragging existing destinations into it. When we share a project using a bundle, a file will be exported for each included destination. We can also specify a default destination. We can change which is the default if we hold Control and click on the different destination. Then choose Make Default. In case we need to delete any destinations, we can hold Control click on the destination we want to delete, and then choose Delete. And if we ever need to revert to the default set of destinations, we can hold Control and click. Then choose Restore Default Destinations. But keep in mind, this will delete any created destinations and revert any modified settings. If you're OK with this, click Continue. So, tell us what you think. Which ones do you use the most often? We'd like to hear in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level. What's that? You're looking for more? Check out these episodes for much more.